Hey, this video is showing paddling, and in my classroom, I have paddles that are made of wood that the kids can use, but if you're working from home and you don't have a real paddle, you can use lots of different things in place of a paddle. So you could use like kitchen implements, maybe heavy wooden spoon, or even something like a ruler where you can use it to paddle. If you need to modify an existing pinch pot and create something like corners, um, maybe you need to stretch it, you want to perhaps make it a little bit more precise and angled than you can with just pinching your forms alone, uh, this video is going to show that. So I have a regular circular pinch pot that I'm first of all taking and modifying it, and now I'm going to square it up. I am using a paddle to do this. Now one of the big things to know about using a paddle is you always pull the paddle in the direction that you want the clay. So I'm gonna slow this down. So you can see I'm pulling it down towards the bottom. As I am paddling it, it sticks to the clay and it's pulling it into that direction. So it's hopefully making a little bit more precise corners. Now here I'm establishing a center line so I know where I want my angles to stop at the center line and then I'm going to do the top and kind of um, paddle the top trying to create the corners to be sharp at where those four facets meet. So you can see I'm pulling the paddle in the direction that I want the clay to go. So if, if it's rounded on the corner and I want it to be, become precise, I'm pulling the clay toward that corner to get it to sharpen up. So I'm just trying to do this on all sides, um, trying to create the facets. Um, you have to be kind of attentive to make sure that if it's gonna be square that you actually are keeping the bottom in the middle that you're trying to keep everything even so it takes really looking at it and trying to figure it out by eye so again pulling the direction oh if it collapses a little bit you could use something like this which is a curved tool where I can kind of push it out a little bit now I am keeping this as thick as my pinky so hopefully the wall is a little bit more sturdy it's not terribly terribly thin at this point but that helps to push it out and then after it's leather hard, then with a sure form, you can go in there and really refine it and add precision that the paddle alone can't do. So hopefully that makes sense, how you can use a paddle to add precision, perhaps add corners, lengthen and stretch a piece beyond just pinching it.